I love the Conjuring universe and the Nun, the themes of good versus evil, and the fact that like you're on the edge of your seat. <laughs> Irene is sent off on this mission, and Deborah runs away to join her on this hunt for the demon. Her mom passed away. My mom died in the fire. She was my church. So her dad sent her to join the nunnery. Deborah has to step outside of herself and kind of put her fear on the back burner. I just hope you can find your faith when the time comes. Hi. I think there's someone upstairs. Ah! It's exhilarating, and you don't know what's coming next. What is that thing? And so it's just like, you know. Well, because after that, we found out about Frenchie. Jacques? Donnie. And then... Come on. Irene? Oh God, wake up. Wake up, wake up! Help! How did you know? I've been talking to the Vatican. They tell me... something here that's not meant to be it's the 10th year anniversary of the conjuring want to play hide and clap it is amazing <gasps> we've created this universe that has such a huge fan base the demon nun really captured the zeitgeist the first film was set in romania in 1952 and four years later it's 1956. We find Sister Irene. She's hiding out in this Italian convent. Irene thought that she left Valak in her past. Out of nowhere, she gets a call from the Cardinal. Sister Irene, you performed a miracle. The church needs another. The demon has used her old friend's body to escape Romania. Valak uses Maurice to try and find an old relic in the hands of a demon, it would be unthinkable. Valak is moving across Europe, killing these people. These victims must be protecting a secret. It really starts to connect characters from the Conjuring universe and bring them together. It's also filled with demonic forms that we haven't seen before. <laughs> It's okay to be scared. It would be great to uh, eventually bring it back full circle, bring the nun story and tie it back into the conjuring.